We're here in Novato, California, the headquarters of Drive Savers Data Recovery, one of the largest data forensics firms in the country. And we're here to find out how their crack team of data detectives helps track down the bad guys. The art of data recovery starts with science. From clean rooms to sticky floors to racks upon racks with highly sophisticated diagnostic equipment, a lot of work goes into saving your data. To find out exactly how much, I talked to Mike Cobb, Director of Engineering at Drive Savers. So Mike, this is the largest clean room I've ever seen, and it's here in a data recovery system. It looks like something out of sci-fi. Now what do you need all this equipment for? Uh, we need the equipment to make sure that we give the customer the best chance of getting their data back. The read-write heads are so close to the platters that if a speck of dust gets in there, it can actually scrape the, the data off of the platters. And we don't want that to happen. Is, is dust and dirt and all that kind of grit that's out in the real world a real problem when it comes to getting data off a hard drive? It sure can be, and, and we don't want to take the risk of introducing any more damage to that drive that's already happened. So, you know, what makes these guys so good at their job? Uh, they've been doing it for a lot of years. They're a really close-knit uh, group of guys, and, um, and they've been doing this for a lot of years, and they love what they're doing, and their objective is to get the best recovery for the customer. So tell me more about the kind of certification and training needed to work in this kind of environment. Well, first off, the clean room itself has to be certified every six months to make sure that, that we don't have any contaminants in the room, making the recoveries worse um, right off the bat. So um, the next thing is the, the engineers themselves work closely together, and they also need to be certified. They go to constant training. They're, they're training themselves. We have so many drives come through. There's so many experiences that happen that could help another dri uh, data recovery in the future. With a basic understanding of how it works, my next goal was to figure out exactly how Drive Savers helps the FBI and local police catch the bad guys. To that end, I cornered Michael Hall, the Chief Information Security Officer at Drive Savers, who heads up their forensics department. Can you give me a better idea of what differentiates forensic analysis from basic data recovery? Sure. Uh, forensic analysis is going to involve litigation, or potential litigation. Uh, conventional data recovery and forensic analysis are very similar in the approach of, achieve, of retrieving the data set. Mm -hmm. The big difference is that in forensic investigations, you have to document everything all along the way, every single step. It has to be repeatable and defensible in a court of law. Can you give me any examples of how you guys help the police catch the bad guys when you're doing some forensic analysis? Yes, oftentimes devices are sent to us that have been physically damaged but they would be beneficial in an investigation, a police investigation. Right. We actually have an example of that. Uh, a police department sent us a mobile device where a gentleman robbed a store and the police were called and he saw them and he took off running down the beach. They pursued him. He proceeded to throw his phone into the sand and stomp on it yeah. and then pick it up and throw it into the ocean. Well, the police saw him do it, sure. and they were able to retrieve the phone, but they couldn't gain access to it. Mm -hmm. They sent the phone to us, we reverse engineered it in the clean room, we were able to acquire an image. They were able to retrieve off of the phone that directly implicated him in the robbery and it assisted him in prosecuting him. Right. So this facility is critical to your ability to do in-depth forensic recovery? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, we have a number of uh, e-discovery and forensic investigation houses mm -hmm. send us their failed drive so that we can acquire a forensically sound image for them. We dug deeper and Mike told me about their compliance standards and their work with the government. But that's when we had to turn the cameras off. Data recovery is about more than just saving your data. It's about saving your photos, recovering your videos, and catching the bad guy. To do it well, you need a crack team of engineers. You need an expensive facility and you need one of the biggest clean rooms in the country. But it's worth the expense because you don't want your data falling into the wrong hands. For more on the process, check out PCWorld.com.